Hi friends, I'm Anna Hellman. Thanks for being here. If you're a beginner learning to make cards, if you like quick and easy cards, if you need to build up the card collection, the cards in your card collection, or if you just like fun techniques to try, I think you'll really like what I'm going to share today. Let's take a look at it. We are going to be creating a one sheet wonder where we take one piece of cardstock and make a lot of cards from it. But this is going to be very different from one sheet wonders you may have seen in the past. I've shared quick and easy and really simple one sheet wonders in the past. This is going to be a variation of that. So what we're going to do, we will start by stamping this one piece of white cardstock. We are going to make a beautiful background on this. We're going to trim it into several pieces and then make a collection of cards from that. So what I am doing, I am starting by stamping. I have several stamps from this inked and tiled stamp set here. And I am going to start stamping all over this cardstock to create a really nice background. So I haven't practice this. Uh, after I do this once, I'll probably learn a few things and think like, oh, I should have done this with the background of my card. But I just want to make the point that uh, you can just start stamping. When you have several stamps that coordinate like these do, I just think these are absolutely beautiful. I love the, I love the distressed look to them. Uh, but you don't have to practice. You can just start stamping and see what happens. And in most cases, you will come up with something neat as the result. I do like to start stamping with my larger stamps first. You can play around with this and see if you have a preference. I like to fill in the main areas with my bigger stamps and then my smaller stamps, I'll be able to go back and fill in wherever I want to. So this stamp right here, I think I'm going to use quite a few times, this leaf stamp to fill in a lot of the areas that are left. So the colors I'm using, I used gray granite for the first stamp. For this one I'm using right now, this is Lost Lagoon. And then we will add some small flowers and we'll be doing that with Pretty Peacock and also Moody Mauve. So let's add one or two more leaves up here. And how do you think it's coming together? I think this is going to look, I think these colors are going to look really nice together. I'm excited just to see how these colors looked once it's all stamped out. Okay, now this stamp, this is my darkest color. A lot of times for my darkest color, I like to use a smaller stamp. I don't usually like to use my darkest one, the one that's going to stand out the most. Don't usually like to use it with one of my biggest stamps. So we'll stamp these flowers wherever there's some space, wherever I feel like it. One thing I like to do to make patterns look irregular, I, I don't like when things look too similar, I guess, too much the same across, is if you've noticed, I've done this twice now, I have these random ones spread out, and then here's two right together, and there's two right together. I think that really helps to keep things looking a bit more natural. I'm not doing a great job of it with this, but one other thing I like to do is turn my stamps. So don't stamp every one of these flowers exactly like this each time to turn it a little bit so it looks a little bit different than the one I stamped before. And okay, now let's get out this last one with the Moody Mauve ink. We'll stamp some of these and then I'll decide if I think I need to come back in and stamp any more of the ones I have already stamped. So what do you think? Tell me in the comments, how is this looking? This is kind of like just making our own designer paper, which is really fun. If you are starting out stamping, it can, it can be difficult to 
start making cards without having a ton of supplies in your collection. But you can do this with, you could even do this with a single color of ink. So with a single color of ink or a few colors of ink and white cardstock, you can do this technique and you can create some really nice cards. The times before when I've shared one, sh one sheet wonders, my s really simple one sheet wonder ideas, I have done them with white card bases, white card backgrounds. And this time I decided not to, but you could stamp on the white card stock and then use white card bases. And like I said, you can make these with really just one stamp set and one or a few colors of ink and white card stock. So here is our beautiful, I don't know whether to call it designer paper. Well, I kind of want to call it wallpaper, but I really like how this is looking. So let's cut this into several pieces and then we'll turn them into some finished cards and see how they come out. I will have a template for my cutting measurements on my website. If you use the link in the video description below, you can get that template and print it out if you like and make it easy to recreate these. So I cut my first strip off. I have my card uh, the ver vertically. I cut the first piece off at three inches. This next one measures three and a half. This right here measures two inches. Now let's cut these into some smaller pieces. So I'll start with this first one that is three inches wide. The first piece I'm cutting off measures four and a quarter inches. The second piece I'm cutting off measures five and a half. And then we have one left that measures one and a quarter. Next, let's take the center piece we had, the one that measures three and a half inches wide. We will cut this one at four and three quarters. And five, and this piece that is left, again, is one and a quarter inches. I will mention, I get questions about the lines on my trimmer. I put these lines on here to use to cut card mats and card bases and to make that easier. If you're interested in details on that, I will have a link to that in the video description below, along with links to all the products I'm using to this beautiful inked and tiled stamp set. What I'm cutting right here, this is my two inch wide strip. I've already cut two pieces that measure two inches wide, two, two, two inches. I'm cutting a third one that measures two inches. I'm going to cut one that measures three and three quarters. And I have one left, just like the others, that is one and a quarter inches wide or long. So bring in my card bases and lay them here. We probably won't be able to get all of them on the screen, but I'll lay these out. And if I counted correctly, we will be making seven cards. I have eight card bases here. We will see how they look and decide which one of these not to use. But what I'm going to do for most of these is just use one piece of that stamped design, we'll call it our personal stamped designer paper that we designed ourselves. We'll just put one of these on and it can be anywhere in any direction you want it to be. And we will end up with a few smaller pieces. The three squares, the three two inch squares will go on one card and we are going to make, we'll make six cards. I did not count correctly. So let's do, I like these colors. So we'll stick with the Lost Lagoon, the Peacock, Pretty Peacock and Moody Mauve for the card, card bases. So let's scoot these a little bit. We will start putting adhesive on the backs of these pieces and attach these quickly. And then we will finish them with a couple of little finishing details. So sometimes I use my tape 
to finish my cards like this sometimes. I think I may actually get out some glue here in a second. And I think I may make this one a horizontal card. This one, I'll make sure my card is opening over here like I think it is because sometimes I get myself confused. I'm going to turn this one sideways. I like how that fills up the entire card there. Let's bring in the next two. These are will be very easy to fill up, fill up most of the card. So for these, let's use a little bit of glue. Sometimes when I'm doing multiples like this, I do like to use my glue instead of my tape, just because I think it saves a little bit of time. Let's center this one, and then this other one will do something different. I do this a lot. I like to put pieces down in the corner so that there's a bigger border up to the top and the left, or you could choose a different corner if you want to. And these two right here, we will have three pieces on each of them. So let's put, let's look at these and see, does it doesn't matter which one goes in the center. I think I'll put this one in the center. It looks like it has, it's a little bit more of a focal point than the other two. And I do wanna pop up that one in the center just to make it stand out a little bit. But I will put this piece on over here on the left side this piece on over here on the right side and see if those line up pretty well. And then let's bring in some dimensionals to put on the back of this other one. So with my take your pick tool, I'm able to apply these, really makes it easy. And I can even take that paper backing off when I lift it out, when I lift up on the... tool. Okay, so, and I realize this one opens this way, so it goes this direction. And then this one right here, let's look at some options for laying these pieces out. And I think what I'm going to do is just like this, I like I like the geometry of that. And you can always use these same pieces and put them in a different place or create a different layout with the ones that have multiples. Typically when I'm putting on multiple pieces like this, I I would only lift up and put adhesive on one piece at a time once I create the layout I want, once I get them where I want them to be. Because once you move them, you don't always know where they were. So that was just kind of an eyeball. I got it pretty good, I think, okay? So now we have our six cards with these pieces on, but they're not finished yet, are they? We need some greetings on here and we wanna finish them up a little bit. So let's do that. I created some greeting tags before we started. I used some of the stamps out of the inked and tiled stamp set. Use some of my scrap paper strips to create these really simple greeting tags. And I have put them on some dimensionals. So these will be popped up from the rest of the card. And these will just be really easy to pick one and pop it up and add it to the card. This is just a really nice way to create simple, simple cards, like I said, or create a lot of cards in a short amount of time. I know sometimes our card stashes get low. Sometimes we really need to make a bunch of cards for a particular occasion, or you just want to build up those cards in your collection. Ideas like this are a lot of fun to try and really help to serve those purposes to build up your build up your cards. So these greeting tags could go anywhere. I'm just kind of playing around and putting them the first place that strikes me as looking nice. 
And this last one right here, where do we want to put it? It doesn't matter, right? Okay, so now I do want to add just a little bit of interest with some sequins to finish them off with some embellishments. These are some adhesive backed, the adhesive backed sequins trio, I believe these are called. And I thought that this color right here is the main reason I picked these out because I, this coordinates really nicely. And I will just add a few of these to each of the cards. So I would love to know what you think about this quick and easy one sheet wonder idea. Is this something you will use? Is this something that you want more of? I will link, I do not remember if I said this or not. I will link in the video description below to a previous one of these that I've done. Possibly my, my other one sheet wonder tutorials as well. So take a look at those. Links to the products I am using will be down there as well. I'm debating whether these pink sequins coordinate, but I think they do. Let's use a few of these. They look nice with that moody mauve. And two more. We'll finish these up. I really like this one with the three squares. And I think I am going to highlight this top piece with some sequins in the corners. Should we put, put a sequin on all the corners? Leave it like that. Oh, it's a tough decision. Tough decision, I don't know. Okay, and then a few more on this little one. So thanks so much for watching along. I hope you learned something here. I hope you can use these ideas in your crafting. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, like it, comment, that helps other crafters find my videos and hopefully that will help them as well. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.